the G unit taking on the Iceman, the world number 20 against the world number nine for a place in the UTS semi-finals. Our first two names on that list, Diego Schwarzman and Benoit Paire. And we're gonna find out our third name coming up over the next hour or so. And don't forget our sixth match of the night and the last one, Andre Rublev against Gael Monfils in Group B. So it's all to play for. Well, speaking of our next match, Kasper Ruud, the Iceman, is getting ready to take on Grigor Dimitrov. We can now head down to Jenny. Thanks very much, Max. Yes, I am with the Iceman, Casper Rude, warming up here behind the scenes. Now, this is a very big match, Casper. Just now, we obviously, obviously saw Benoit Pierre winning through to the semi-finals. Yeah. You have to win, win this 3-0 or 3-1. Thoughts? A uh, little bit of pressure, of course, but uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, I think we're both going to leave it all out there, and uh, we both want to be in the semis. So congrats to Benoit for already qualifying. He played a great match now, so we're going to have to step up. Uh, at least, particularly in my case, I have to win, and I have to win in straights so or only losing one set in order to get onto the semi-final. Certainly, it's going to be very exciting out there. The atmosphere is absolutely incredible today because it's a sellout. Have you been milling around? Have you heard the atmosphere yet? Yeah, I hit earlier on centre court and it was full. Oh yeah, you were hitting us. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, it, was, it was good. It's hot out there, uh, pretty humid, but uh, we'll, we'll manage and um, it's going to be a good... Uh, Good atmosphere and good fans, and hopefully uh, they will stay until the last match. Is it nice just to have one match today? Yeah, it's nice. Yesterday was intense with two matches, so just one today. I had a quite uh, easy morning and afternoon before heading out there, so that was, uh, it's been a good day. Perfect. Well, we'll let you warm up, finish warming up, and good luck out there. We're looking forward to a good one. Thank you. So there you, ha there you have it then. Kasper Ruud needs to win this match. Three quarters to love or three quarters to one to qualify. Otherwise, it will be Grigor Dimitrov joining Benoit Pair in the semi-finals. If Dimitrov wins this next match, he is qualified, of course, and he'll top the group as well because that means he would have won all of his matches. If Kasper Ruud wins 3-2, Benoit Pair is, of course, qualified top of the group and Grigor Dimitrov will go through as well. So Kasper Ruud needs to win 3-love or 3-1 to join Benoit Pair in the semi-finals. It's as simple as that. So we take a look at Jan Lennard Struff. Of course, he's going to sign for his fans here in Germany. He's had a great 2023. I'm sure he will be back. Our UTS journey for this year began in Los Angeles back in July. We're going to South Korea in November as well and the UTS Grand Final at the end of the year. For now, we're in Frankfurt, but about two months ago, we started in Los Angeles. Wu Yi Bing was the tournament winner and he qualified for that Grand Final at the end of the year. We had some funny moments in the commentary box. Our players were wonderful. Let's take a look back at some of those best moments. We're seeing your personality come out a bit more with UTS. I heard if you weren't a tennis player, you'd be a singer. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep going. No, I say for the match. Maybe, maybe I, I sing doing the match. That was very good. Well, thank you for that little interlude. Good luck in second quarter. <laughs> Thanks. That was terrible, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's it like to be coached by King Kyrgios? Yeah, we get along well. It's pretty funny to have him on the sidelines. Obviously, used to seeing him across the net, but it's good. I hope you guys enjoy, and, but I need to not worry about him being here. I need a win. <laughs> you do need a win. Um, what's the best piece of advice he's given you today, though? Not too much so far. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to need DJ Dents' help here. So if those tunes could just go up a little bit. El Peque promised us a little dance. So, LA crowd, please start clapping away. El Peque, come on, give us the good stuff. Man can move. <laughs> but I need the Latin music, buddy. And now you have uh, some of the AC Milan players watching, some uh, French players too. 
Um, have you got any questions for them? Uh, Olivier, how many goals this year? <laughs> hold, us, hold, hold up your hands here, Olivier. <laughs> One goal only. <laughs> Did you say goal or girl? Uh, well, well done, well done, Gail. Thank you, cheers. He doesn't have his headphones on. Hello. Hello, sir. Yep. Okay, now how do we how do we sum up that quarter, my friend? Uh, I suck. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm not gonna lie, your serve wasn't at its best, was it? Yep. What happened? Well, I think uh, I never played this court with no doubles line, so I was a little bit confused, like with uh, opening the ankle. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, well now, how are you going to approach your serve in this next quarter? I don't know. Try to uh, serve uh, over the net, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you enjoying it? Are you getting used to it? Is it difficult? No, it's, uh, it's oh, I mean, it's my first time, so I got to be like, you know, it's okay to start like suck, <laughs> but <laughs> try to try to catch up. Well, Gail, apologies, first of all, that you have to speak to me, not Nick, Nick, Nick Kyrgios, <laughs> but... Where do you get your energy from? You're doing crunches out there, you're looking at the crowd. You know, it's Ben giving me their energy. Ben, thank <laughs> you so much. We've been talking so much shit before the match. Look at him, he's mad, crying. He's not happy, but I love him. You know, this kid's going to be top 10, but I whoop his ass tonight. <laughs> Enwa, how are we doing? So bad. So bad, my friend. What happened? Speak to Diego. Here we go. Sorry, guys. No problem at all. El Shaky. Peque. Are you and Benoit going to be friends after this match? We always be friends. We played many, many times, and uh, this happened a lot <laughs> with him. That's why his nickname is The Rebel. But, uh, yeah, I think the Lion Pyre is uh, helping me a little bit tonight. Hey, man, how much, how much you charge, man? I'm going to get you on the road. It, it made sense after I spoke to you. See, I should be on that bench next to you. Exactly, exactly. All right, you can, uh, you can pay for my water later on. <laughs> He only needs one quarter to get to the semi-final. Just going to try and remind you that. I feel it, yeah, I'm, I'm already in the semi-final. But, uh, you know, I tried to enjoy myself, to be honest. Last night, I was sleeping at that time. And I'm, uh, you know, whooping uh, a young ass. <laughs> I, might, I might do a few hours. No worries, Nick. All right, it's just good to see the greatest showman back out there and healthy. Enjoy. Thank enjoy. you, brother. Thank feel you. It. You are officially into the semi-finals tomorrow. I'm not tomorrow. thinking about that. How does Le it Mans, feel, though, Ben? Lamont has it coming in this fourth quarter. I'm not thinking about tomorrow. Come on. <laughs> Frances, what happened? He played it probably the best <laughs> he's ever played in his life, so that's what I've... Honestly, he's just lucky, yeah. no? Yeah, absolutely lucky. Uh, just lucky, and I feel like you are improving a lot, so I think you're going to win this match. I totally agree. Yeah, like, we're I know, on the same I know. Page. I, I know you need confidence because if you lose this match, you are done. So watch out. You are like me. Eh? Hey, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for staying in the obvious, bro. Appreciate it. But in English, Ben, I'm coming for you. <laughs> and if you win, what's the plan tonight? Uh, video games. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Okay, well. Yeah, you could have just said if you wanted to take your shirt off, Benoit. No, I'm good like this. It was too hot. <laughs> uh, how are you feeling about sudden death? We thought it was going to happen again. Well, I feel very confident. Huh? You saw the last one before. <laughs> I lost uh, with a match point, so that's perfect. This is certainly extrovert versus extrovert. What's it like playing <laughs> against someone who you don't know what's coming next? It sucks. <laughs> did, did you hear that, Alexander? No, no, no. crowd was still out. Uh, he said, um, Max asked him what it's like not knowing what you're going to face next, and he said it sucks. What do you mean? Like, I don't know what to face next. Keep making these shots that nobody else can make outside of US. It's not, it's not coming in. <laughs> True. It's only here. True. But let's take a moment for your shot because that was the most incredible shot I think I've ever seen in my life. Is that the best shot you've ever hit in your life? On UTS for sure. <laughs> yeah, around the net, Ben was talking about this yesterday, said I have a hands to do it and I pull it off. So yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a great shot. It was looking really good in the beginning and then I forgot how to serve and then <laughs> it wasn't looking so good. And, uh, Kind of just willed my way out of it now. Yeah, and forgetting how to serve is slightly crucial when you only have one serve. How are you coping with that out there? Yeah, it's all good. I'm not so used to the, uh, I don't know, just, just the atmosphere. I got to just really focus on my serve, focus on uh, 
focus on what I'm doing and, and, and pay attention to the court. We can. We can see you enjoying yourself on the court. You've been a real entertainer. We didn't know you had this in you. Uh, me either. I, <laughs> I don't even know. Like, three days ago, I'm a normal guy, and now, like, turns out I'm the new curious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Incredible stuff from UTS Los Angeles. Wu Yi Bing surprised everybody, not just winning the tournament, but his personality really shone through. I think my favorite moment there was the first clip we saw. Wu Yi Bing singing to the commentary box. He is apparently a singer and a model, and he was our LA champion as well. As you see, Grigor Dimitrov and Jamie Delgado, his coach, warming up outside before his match against Kaspar Ruud. You've already heard the permutations, but to remind you, Kasper Root has to win three quarters to love or three quarters to one to qualify for the semi finals from this group alongside Benoit Pair. Otherwise, Dimitrov will join the Frenchman. Dimitrov and Root have met twice before their last meeting in 2022 back in Monte Carlo. Grigor won that one on the clay in round four. 2021, they met in semi a semi final in San Diego. Casper Rude won on a hard court. So, two meetings. Hello, Steve. Jan Leonard Struff is still here. The last time I was with you, before we showed you that LA video, he was signing autographs, and there he is. Incredible stuff. And that is really the goal of UTS to get new fans into the sport. I think a lot of the fans here in Frankfurt love their tennis. If you go down to the player's entrance, there's always someone waiting to meet their hero. I wonder what these two are talking about. Jamie Delgado hasn't done what Xavier Moreau did, shower and change from the purple. He's sticking with it, and why not? The Bulgarian has won both of his matches here in Frankfurt. Looking good at the moment in Group A. Just a reminder, our final two matches, Dimitrov versus Rude, and then that will follow Andre Rublev against Gael Monfils. Chris Eubanks is already eliminated from Group B. Rublev certainly the favorite to advance from that group, but Monfils still has a chance, but for now, all eyes on this one. As Grigor enters the Suvag Energy Arena, My poor old co-host, Jenny Drummond. Fancy the word with Grigor there. He's got to see the physio. Final checks from the world number 20. Stefan Apostolou, not just a match referee, he carries the bags as well. Let's see if we can have a word with Grigor. Yes, please. You almost left me hanging there. I thought you just snuck in a different uh, different door. How are we doing? Great. Really great. Carpe diem, right? Yeah, carpe diem. <laughs> it's all about that tonight. Are you looking forward to this one? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I was just warming up a little bit. A little tired, which is uh, good to feel that before matches like that. I always believe in that. It means that you've done something right. So let's go finish the job. Absolutely. I mean, you're two from two, and uh, well, we know that someone <laughs> is into the semi-finals. Yeah. So, how much do you want to be in the semi-finals as well? Uh, a lot, but I'm so pumped for for Benoit. Honestly, like he, he means so much to him. When I saw him, it was so good to see that, and I think the celebration with the coach as well in the end was amazing. So, I mean, I'm very happy. And we expect a good show out there from you too. Yeah, I hope so. Okay. Well, good, good luck and joy. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. I think Grigor speaks for everybody when he says it meant a lot for Benoit Pair to advance to the semi-finals. Zubag Energy Arena has been a fantastic host for our second of four UTS tournaments in 2023. Grigor Dimitrov against Kaspar Ruud is our fifth match today. It's time to meet the coaches, it's time to meet the players.
Arms, Grigor Dimitrov, the only Bulgarian champion in ATP Tour history. Seventeen ATP Finals winner. The top ranked Norwegian in history. Ten ATP singles titles to his name. The latest was this year in Estoril. Nine of his ten titles have come on clay. He's looking to make his mark on the hard court here in Frankfurt. Root's only title on this surface was in San Diego two years ago, and he beat Grigor Dimitrov in the semi-final there. There's a semi-final on the line here. Dimitrov, a man who back in 2021 said, love goes all the way through tennis, given the scoring system. Not in UTS, it's zero. Who you got? Settle in, enjoy. Hopefully we First go quarter. all the way to sudden death. Digging into serve. One zero, the ice man. And if you've got immaculate timing, and you just joined us at the start of this match, Kasper Rude to qualify for the semi-finals needs a three-quarter to love win or a three-quarter to one win. Anything else, Dimitrov is through. One, the Iceman. Well, the perfect start for Casper Brood. Kick to the back end. But this oh. won't worry G unit Grigor Dimitrov at all. He came back from two quarters to love down. Yeah, okay. Seven one. The Iceman. Seven, two. The Iceman. Okay, let's go.
7-3, the ice. That's a shot that Casper Ruben will want to forget about. Needed a strong start, given how he needs to qualify for the semi-final. He certainly has one here. The Spectacular, wouldn't it? Ten, five. Okay, We've seen some good tweens today. The Iceman. Rally of the match so far. Great the point Iceman. for the Iceman. After the forehand we saw from Dimitrov, surprised that he made that error. Serve the call from Joe Himbeck, Casper Ruud's coach. Time is over. What a point 
First player to 15, win the card. Casper, well done. Let's try again. Casper, well done. Can you hear me? We'll give him a drink. Take his time. Casper, you know you need to win this match three quarters to love or three quarters to one to qualify for the semis. A good start. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Just talk to the mic. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Oh, good. On, on. That's fine. Hello. Hello. Can you hear or no? Yep. Can you hear? Oh, um, yeah, good start um, in this match. And I'm um, going to try to get going. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, Grigor is always tough to play against, so I'm going to have to keep my level high. Yeah, what's the toughest thing about playing against Dimitrov? Well, he has every shot in the book, so know what I mean. It's, uh, yeah, it keeps you on your toes all the time. It's uh, difficult. Right, we've got a few <laughs> sound issues, I think. Kasper, thank you very much. <laughs> Grigor, let's try yeah. with you. Uh, yeah. Are we working? We're loud and clear. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we're good, we're good. We're good. You seem very chilled out. You seem very relaxed. What's happening in the mind of Grigor? A lot. A lot. Care to a tell lot. me? Care to let me in for a moment? Um, I'm at the moment, I honestly, I'm enjoying. I'm trying to get uh, get myself into the into the rhythm. Um, I mean, Casper is so solid on both ends, so I need to uh, I need to regroup a little bit now and uh, try to um, try to do something new, right, Jamie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, I mean, the, in, in the last one, he lost the first couple of sets, so hopefully he can turn this one around. Oh. I was looking for a bit more trash talk, actually. You're both far too polite about each other. Any, any trash talk, no? Well, between me and Jamie? Well, yeah, why don't you do that? Because Jamie <laughs> trash talked you, right? No, no, trash talk. No, no. It's, not, uh, it's not the right player for that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, well, good luck in this next one. Thank you. We need your support, your blink, the So, let's have a look at the quarter summary. 100% serve success rate for Kasper Ruud, and that's what did it. 67% serve points won. Neither player able to take advantage of the bonus card, but no matter for the Iceman. Second quarter. The Iceman to serve. One zero. J units. Cheeky Chappy, the G unit. Oh, no. I'm going to go overhead. Nope. Nearly pulled it off. Two, 
one G units. Fault. Two all. Oh, that's so good. Three, two, G units. We've seen that down the years many a time. Four, two, G units. Back at you. Five, by Jamie Delgado there, <laughs> at the end of that replay. Hot. Six, three, G units. Good serve, let's go. Six, four, G units. Heavy to the back end now, heavy to the back end. Seven, four, G units. Run faster. The Iceman feeling a little hot and bothered, I think, down there. Frustrated. Just his timing. Yeah. Good on that occasion, though. Seven, five, G units. Cold as ice, eh? Fault. Eight, five, dig it. Yeah. One. Eight, six, dig it. Another tight four, sir. Eight, seven, G units. Fault. Eight, all. Yeah, yeah. Nice. 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 Very dialed in, those cast are really the Iceman, one of the fiercest competitors on the tour. 10 8, the Iceman. Number 9 player in the world. With two top 10 players this weekend. That's Rude Rodham and Andrew Rublev world number 6 coming up after this match. Fighting for his place in the semi finals as well. Yeah, another great lineup. Taylor Fritz was the number nine when we played ETS LA. Things changed quickly in the tennis world. Ben Shelton was there in LA with us, and he's now in the top 20. As Jenny would 
say, massive. That In was huge from the G unit. No stopping that. Within the next one, come three. You just got. He knows the task in hand, Casper Rude. Jagan, it is using next one from three. GTS cards. Well, Dimitrov, who's calling his card, would have to take this all the way to sudden death to qualify if the Iceman can hold on in this quarter. Yeah. So good. So 17, you know him. Nice. Yeah, Six Whoa! Oh, that's massive! 17, 12! Time is over. Quarter points. First player to 18 with the counter. <laughs> 17, 14. Mit uns zu reden haben. Casper, well done. Another quarter down. You need just one more to qualify for the semi-finals. How are we doing? If you if you hold hold the microphone further up. Yeah. Ah, good. Uh, perfect. Perfect to set. And. Uh, Casper, can you hear me? If you hold the microphone further up, because I think you're on the... No, 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 your, your hand. hand. Your hand. Like this? Yeah, because <laughs> the signal's on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, well, uh, like I said, two first sets are good. My, my favor, and I'm going to just try to keep going. It's uh, going to be tough now to kind of try to finish the match, but uh, let's see if I can do it. 
Now, other than tennis, I know you love to play golf. You're a very good golfer. Um, I'm not going to ask you for tips right now because, well, I need many tips in my golf game. But you play with Rafa Nadal and a good friend of yours, but you said his golf swing is ugly. <laughs> so tell me more. Well, uh, I'm not sure if I said ugly, but it's not a, <laughs> it's not a pretty swing, I can that's tell you that. That's what you but, said, that's what you said. But that's maybe the same these days, but um, well, it, he makes it work. Uh, he's a better golfer than me, so I mean, it doesn't matter how you look. The most important is how few, sh how few shots you can hit until the ball is in the cup, and uh, he's better than me, so I mean, I can say all I want, but in the end, he will beat me, so. <laughs> is he better than you at golf? Yes. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. I'm sorry to hear that. That's fine. <laughs> well, uh, well done. Thank you. Grigor. What's up? Is your golf swing ugly? Uh, it's non-existent. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you play golf? But uh, you know what? I'll try to make it look pretty, if, that may, if that's any consolation to you. I'm sure you will. Uh, can you talk us through the fake overhead tweener shot that you played? Yeah. In yeah, it didn't work out. I was hoping for that one. You don't get to do those uh, during a regular season, so I was inspired by Pablo Cuevas. Uh, he's, uh, yeah, he's the genius, the creator of that shot, so I was trying to, to make it, but um, unsuccessful. Will you play golf in retirement? No. Why? <laughs> uh, it's not my thing. Okay, what it's is really your thing for retirement, by the way? Anything that can go your heart rate to 200 is good for me. Perfect. We'll just keep playing UTS. Thanks, Grigor. Exactly. That's, that, that's what I'm doing now. Also, auf geht's in das dritte Quarter. Unsere Spiele abgesagt, dass wir uns bei euch noch mal bedanken sollen für die großartige Stimmung und als kleines Dankeschön gibt es für morgen die Tickets mit 30 Prozent Rabatt für alle, die heute hier sind. Entweder online über das Videoangebot oder direkt hier Great. an der Kasse. First two quarters for Casper Ruud. Third quarter. I'm sure you could tell by those interviews that Kasparud is in the zone. Yeah, he wasn't oh, loving the chat, was he? <laughs> well, One, zero. Jenny, you should know if you call something ugly. Uh-oh. How's the golf game, by the way? Everyone wants to know. Mine? Yeah. It's, it's only ever on the way, on the way up. <laughs> That's good. You can't really go much Zero. further yeah. uh, down, to be honest, when you first start playing golf. Two, one. Now, the final eight. match of the day will be Andre Rublev against that man right there, Gael Monfils. Getting himself ready. And we'll let you know. All the permutations for that one when we get there. Rublev and Monfils still alive in Group B. Once again, we see that incredible forehand from the G-Force, the G-Unit. Just don't call him golf. Golf Three man. All. Not his thing, apparently. Four, three, the Iceman. The happiest Frenchman on the planet, currently. Et moi, Pierre. Qualifying for the semi-final. Five, four, the units. Five, all. Will he play? Yet to be decided. 
still to be decided whether he's in first or second place. Good by Kasparu, good enough for the clap from Grigor. Seconds between serves, both coaches stressing that. Yes. Well, Kasparu decided early then. Nine, seven. Close off the angles. Good change of pace. Ten, seven. Sure. Heavy to the back end now, heavy to the back end. There's just been a massive rush of fans down behind the umpire's chair. <laughs> oh my goodness. Careful, everyone. Ten, eight, the Iceman. Sensing that this match might be over soon. Uh, it's great to see so many kids here. Yes, it's all about attracting the younger audience. The thing Ten is, if you come, you're guaranteed to get a selfie or an autograph. The access is brilliant. And you get to see all eight players in action as well. Days one and two. It's a great pick up from Dimitrov. Oh. Oh, oh, no way. It's the post. There's Kasparu. Deno. Delicate by the door there. Looked like a straightforward pass for Rude. Wasn't to be. Ten apiece. Well, the Iceman was looking to move one point in front there with his card, as it were. One point there, come on. 
Grigor Dimitrov up three points and he has called his Gini card. is using the next one got three. Gini has card. Six points in a row for the G unit. Didn't go his way, so G unit picks up. It's okay, win. Three pointer. Sixteen eleven. G units. Time is over. One point. First bird to seventeen. Win the card. Grigor, what's up? Do you have to go two quarters to love down to spring into action today? Absolutely. <laughs> That's two. two, if, out if, two. It, if it's easy, I don't like it. <laughs> You're just trying to make it harder for yourself. Yes. But look, you ran back to the chair there. You look very excited. Um, how happy are you to win that quarter and be back in this match? Yeah, very, uh, very. I, th I thought I played a little bit better. He did a few mistakes, so he helped me out a lot. Um, but uh, yeah. This one, uh, this one is gonna be tasty. So yeah, so basically, if you win this next quarter, you are through to the semifinals. But if Casper wins this quarter, he is through to the semifinals. So, nerves? Uh, oh, okay. We're good. <laughs> no no nerves? pressure. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying. Uh, all jokes aside, um, I'm, I'm super grateful. So I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot and. Uh, it's all, about, it's all about the game and the crowd right now. So uh, I'm glad everybody's having a great time. Absolutely, we are. We're looking forward to this next quarter. Thank you. Thank you, Grigor. Kasper, just quickly, towards the end of that quarter, loads of the young tennis fans came down towards the front of the court there. What have you made of the fact that, you know, young fans can come and get the access they have had here, signatures, autographs, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's good. They're very close and I guess they, <laughs> thought I was going to win, but things can change <laughs> quickly in tennis, and uh, you showed it once again, and um, yeah, it's, here we go for a fourth set. It's going to decide it all now. Yeah, here we go. Good luck in the fourth quarter. Thank you. Thanks. And now it's going to win the decision. Frankfurt, who always wins this quarter, we'll see you in the semi-finale. Hold your hands up and turn the lights on. We need your lights in the air, and then from left to right. There we go. Grigor Dimitrov back in this match. Took his bonus card well. As we see the Sulag Energy Arena lighting up. Phone torch is on. Great atmosphere in here. Almost a sellout today. Oh, nice. Now DJ Starry okay. take it all in. Fourth quarter, the ice went to serve. Okay, folks, here we go. Next eight minutes. Seven. 
1-0 to units. And, uh, Kasparu needs to win this quarter. If he does, he's through. If Grigor wins it, he's through even before sudden death begins. The G unit, certainly the more relaxed of the two, I think. Kasper Ruud wants to win this. He's showing us he wants to win this. I'm sure Dimitrov does as well, but he seems a lot more relaxed <laughs> during the sit downs. What happens when you get to your 30s? Chill out a bit. Oh, right. <laughs> Don't deny it. <laughs> Well, he was filming the crowd just now yeah, on his phone. Two, one, the expert. Dimitrov enjoying the atmosphere here in Frankfurt. It'll get even louder. We can send this to a sudden death. Shot, G. Two, one. Bruk time Six four. The Iceman. Great shot. Seven four. The Iceman. There we go. Come on. Absolute screamer here. Locked in. He is tired also. He is tired also. Come on. He's also tired. Let's go. Come on. He's stronger than him. You heard it. You heard it from Joachim there, Casper Roots coach. He's stronger than him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine, four. The Iceman. Take your time. Come on. Take your time. Nine five. The Iceman. Good try, good try. Singing away. I forgot I 
by six, the ice box. Coming along and singing along to so many of these tunes today. It's hard to forget. Ten, You're six. watching a tennis match sometimes. Yeah, it's fine. It's fire off. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. If Kasparud closes this out with the current scoreline, He'll still be second in Group B. Benoit Pair will go through in first. Then seven. And that would mean Casper plays Diego Schwarzman in one of the semi finals tomorrow. The Argentinian went through top of Group B. Bulgarian fans in the stands. Then eight. The Iceman. Next one, next one. Then nine. Just the like this quarter, just like this match. Great way to finish because, as we know, the G unit, if he wins two quarters here, he's through to the semi finals. We've got the finish we wanted. Yes, yeah, but he's using his next point, COP3, UTS card. Grigor Dimitrov, Kasparov kept going to his left, finally changed things up, and Dimitrov had a response. Keep an eye on the card, Grigor. Oh, 12, 10, the units. Is Jamie going to remind him? Surely, you please. Call the card. Call the card. Time is over. He's missed it, I think. What a point. He's missed it. Oh, well, you can't play First it in quarter points anyway, so... Wins the quarter. This is still part of the fourth quarter, though. Oh, the time's run out. He had time to call it, right? Quarters complete. We're going to sudden death. And Grigor Dimitrov is going to the semi-finals. He needed two quarters. Two quarters all. <laughs> so that's it. And it's going to the Sunday. At this stage, we know we have already in the semi-finale, but who will here? Die These entscheidenden Punkte. We have a to Jenny and Max. Grigor, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Do you want the good news or the good news? <laughs> Start with the good one first. Okay, the good news is, after winning that second quarter there for yourself, you qualified for the semi-finals. Congratulations. <laughs> How will you celebrate, my man? <laughs> All right. How are you going to celebrate? All right. Did you say how I'm going to celebrate? Yeah. I'm celebrating with you guys right now. Okay. Who are we yeah. inviting? <laughs> Who would you like as a special guest to your big party? Maybe later. Maybe later. Okay. Well, good luck in the sudden death. Is this your first sudden death? No, it's second today. Second. Yeah. How was the first one? Uh, good, good. <laughs> it was, uh, 
you know, one point difference here and there. I think that makes the biggest difference. We love how relaxed you are. Well done, Grigor. Thank you, guys. Casper, Grigor really spoiled your party, didn't he? Yeah, pity, but that's how it is. It's uh, well played by him. He came back from behind both last two tie breaks, so he stepped up, I didn't, so that's how it goes. Yeah, he did. It was incredible that he's done that today on two different occasions. It's almost like he's a bit of a tease to opponents, isn't he? Yeah, he's a... Uh, <laughs> You know, Dimi, he likes to have it his way, so uh, <laughs> he, he can toy with anyone out there. Yeah, you can trash talk him now because he's qualified over you. But look, as a whole Casper, your first time here at UTS, what do you make of the concept? Sorry? Your first time at UTS, what do you make of the, the overall concept? It's fun. It's intense. I mean, <laughs> it's so hot in here. So, I mean, I'm here, we're struggling a bit physically, but uh, it's okay. Now it's... You only need to win two points, so let's see who can pull it off in the deciding one. Okay, well, good luck. Enjoy. Sudden death is angesagt. So into sudden death we go. If Dimitrov wins it, he's top of Group A. If Rude wins, Benoit Pair is top of Group A. Here we go. First player to win two consecutive points. Yeah. <laughs> it was out, Steve. Match spawns the Iceman. So there we go. Kasparud wins in sudden death. But it's Grigor Dimitrov who qualifies for the semi finals. He finishes second place in Group A. So he will take on Diego Schwarzman in one of our semi finals tomorrow. Benoit Pair goes through in first place in Group A. We will find out the runner up in Group B very shortly. Next match against Monfils against Rublev. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah. Dimitrov moves on. We can hear from him now. It's official. You just made it to the semis. Yeah, I did. Thank you. When did you first think of realistically making it after that start from the Iceman? That was unbelievable. Yeah, but he's still won. <laughs> Uh, no, I fall back, so that's the important, uh, the important part. But um, yeah, great last points from him. Not much to say, but uh, happy to be back tomorrow and um, get it going again. It seems like in the important moments, you were as cool as ice, but he's the Iceman, your G unit. Uh, how much influence did this man have? A lot. He, he brought the fire. <laughs> he brought the fire to melt the ice. Grigor, congratulations. G unit, Martin im Semifinale. Yep, Grigor Dimitrov will take on Diego Schwarzman in his semi final tomorrow. The first semi final will start at 2.30 local time. We don't yet know the order of the semi finals. Let's hear from Kasper Rude. You won the match, but you didn't make it to the semi-finals. You had a magnificent start at the end of the day. What made that small difference? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I messed it up a little bit in the third and fourth uh, set, but that's okay. That's tennis. You can learn from everything, I guess. And, uh, an amazing first experience here at the UTS. Um, you know, even though I won, uh, uh, I didn't go uh, through. So it gets really exciting all the way until the last match. So doesn't matter who you're watching, it will always be an exciting match. And um, yeah, it's a great show for the fans, great uh, chance for the players to do something else. And uh, I hope I can 
compete in this competition again in the future. Also, das ist ein Versprechen, über das wir uns sehr, sehr freuen. Kasper möchte zurückkommen, möchte weiter UTS spielen. Es hat ihm riesen Spaß gemacht. Er sagt einmal Dankeschön an alle Fans. Um, it looks like you had a bit of fun out there as well. You weren't that ice manic as uh, we might have thought. Uh, you had a few smiles, you had a few trick shots on there as well. And that of course makes sense with this format. Is that something that makes it maybe extra enjoyable and forget the loss of not getting to the semis? Well, the, the court is different. It looks different. The net is uh, tighter, smaller, so you can go shots around the net uh, a couple times. But um, it's just a different experience and the atmosphere, the DJ is playing music up until when you toss the ball, so everything is diff different. Uh, a little diff difficult to hear the shots every now and then, but it's fun. It's, uh, I enjoy it and uh, I, I look forward to being back in Germany again next, next year. So we look forward to seeing you in Germany and seeing you on the UTS tour. Congrats to the win and yeah, come back soon. The Iceman, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure he'll be back, Jenny. His UTS debut. So the match summary, another sudden death match for the G unit, but this time going in favor of his opponent, the Iceman. It really wasn't a lot between these two guys. The numbers are very similar indeed. But despite the Iceman, Casper Rood getting the victory, second victory of the group, didn't make it through to the semi-finals. But let's remind ourselves of how this fifth match of the day played out on center court the here. The Iceman. In Frankfurt. Time is over. Iceman came out the blocks very quickly indeed. It was a dominant first quarter. Two unit looks impressive at the beginning of the second. Strong start by Casper Rude. This is where he played his card. And he played it right. Look at that pickup. Pressure was on. And he delivered on that shot. So it was two quarters to love, which meant that Rude only needed one more to get himself into the final four. But it wasn't to be, Jenny. It wasn't. Didn't have all the luck in the world. Right at the end of that third quarter. Dano. It looked like it was going his way, but... 12, 10, oh, right. Took that third quarter into the fourth we went and this was a must win quarter for Casper Ruiz if he 7-4 the ice there we go come on yeah that was one of the shots of the match painting the lines once again he went to quarter points Grigor sending us into sudden death with that one there didn't he love it? Two apiece. We told him the good news. Despite that news, Kasparu took victory in the match. His first UTS experience. But as he says, hopes it will be returning to Germany. Three, two. Our next stop is South Korea. We'll see Kasparu very soon. Dimitrov moves on. So five matches down in the day, one more to go, and that is between Andre Rublev, the world number six, Rublo, and Gail Monfils, Lamont. Hi, Tim. 